Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your girl, Tanya Lady T, and this is Sunday dinner at Mama's house. Y'all get on the flavor train because what? The tickets are free. All right, y'all. Of course, Mom's done it again. This is beef, chicken, onion, and all some other good stuff. Stir fry. Cornbread over there in the side corner pocket. Got some stir fried or pan fried cabbage and some Mama Howe's Mexican street corn. It's got all them ingredients. <laughs> Ting! As uh, my girl Juicy Tingles would say. <laughs> anyway, y'all, let's say grace. Thank you, most gracious and heavenly Father, for the food I'm about to receive, for the nourishment of my body, for Christ's sake. Amen. All right, y'all, let's get to doing it. Tony will come when he comes. And I'm drinking uh, food line of uh, seltzer water. This is um, cranberry lime. These are really good. Mm -hmm. They got some more. It's that water hitting that pan out in the sink. Yeah, they got different. They got a lot of other flavors. I think seem like I got the. Uh, Grapefruits, something, something, something. They got orange, orange, oh, yeah. vanilla, orange, something. Vanilla, orange. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Mm, that cabbage is good. This beef, you said it's from Members Mark. Mm -hmm. That's what? It's, it's, it's a fajita meat. It's already sliced and seasoned. Mmm. You know they have the chicken or the beef. And the, the beef, the pack is a pound and a half for ten dollars. The chicken is, you know, this this two pack of that is, is like two pounds of it for like eight dollars. Hmm, I have to check it out. I don't think I'll be good for like, you know, like you want to make a, a fajita or a wrap or something like that. Real, mm -hmm. real reasonable. Mmm. Mm. Have you ever tried these little things? Even though know, they sweet with aspartame, I thought every once in a blue moon. Oh, um, I've seen it before, but I haven't yeah. tried. I always buy if I get stuff like that. To flavor my water, I um, get crystal light peach. Mm. Well, you and the food I have the brand, but I was kind of like, you know, I'm always here something. And um, I said, let me just try the oh bakery. They were at the bakery. They were good. Mm. And uh, they were like a two for a dollar. So I said, let me try these little thing. And then I forget this stuff usually like this has aspartame. The aspartame, you know, they declared war on that years ago. Mm hmm. So I figured, you know, I ain't had that in 40 years. Mm. The kids are over there. Can y'all see? Knock the ears off of it a little bit. The teens, excuse me, let me correct it. The teens. Mm. Oh, wow, look at that. It's seasoned just good. I don't need no so soft. Well, I don't. I mean, but well, some people just like they'll kill it. Like I Korean. really like the flavor of that meat. It's wonderful. You a steak fajita? A burrito? Mm hmm. Mm. Like I said, I got the chicken on. Oh, the chicken is real good too. It's seasoned real good. Put the chicken on the beef. I'm gonna tell you what was so, so disrespectful. This is what I was gonna say earlier, but I was into that movie. Mm. I messed around and watched, uh, turned on a movie. It was called, on Netflix, called Doom, Annihilation, or something like that, Annihilation. That's what I'm saying. I know. I was trying to fix, I, I wanted a sci-fi fix. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
when I tell you I want to find who it was so R bad. It wasn't a B movie. It was a Z movie. Uh, unrated. Oh, and, stuff like that. and they had the audacity. You know how I feel about the Alien um, trilogies. Mm -hmm. There's more than three. You know how I feel about like Aliens and the Matrix. That's my stuff. Mm -hmm. That's my zhuzh. Mm -hmm. They had the nerve to make that movie try to play the same, uh, uh, what's what I'm trying to say, mom, storyline story as a. You thought it was going it to was, show, it was so disrespectful. It was so disrespectful. And then, guess what the creatures were? Spoiler alert, if anybody's gonna, don't even waste your time. I've already done it for you. It's yeah. like in Aliens, it was aliens. These these were like zombies. <sighs> Where the people were doing experiments on one another and they walked into this big blob and then they're supposed to come out to be all powerful and it turned them to actually zombies. So they were running around Boom. Trying to kill. Yeah, I, watch stuff like that. I don't even like zombie stuff. Mm -mm. I have no interest in zombies. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. I don't like because they're just wild and they run around screaming until you shoot them in the head and then now they're dead or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then they and might then even. They, then they, then they, they come they, the Walking Dead. Like <laughs> I, <laughs> I was so. But you know how I was so. I was like, I just want to see how this is. What, I was so. It was so disrespectful. <laughs> oh, I was so upset. And I sat right there. And after about an hour, I just cut it off. Because I was going to see what it was going to lead to. And the deeper and deeper I watched it, the worse it got, y'all. Oh, my goodness. I'm still mad about that movie on Netflix called uh, Open House. That mess. A lot of stuff I hate. Tags you to the end of your seat to the end of the movie and it just dropped off a cliff and stopped. Now, are you watching The Last Kingdom? Is that you that's watching The Last Kingdom? I'm a, somebody told me to start watching that. Who wants to keep mine like my food real hot, man? You got cold on. Mmm. Hosta. Pasta? Hosta. That's the plan I was trying to tell you about. Oh, hosta. Yeah, when yeah, yeah. When you look at the one, my, see they come back every year? Yeah. That, you see that one that's coming back right out there? I, it's I can't see. On that, when you get up that cement table. Okay. They, they are beautiful. Now a lot. So of you keep yours in just a pla you keep yours in like a planter. You don't you don't you don't plant yours in your ground. I can't now. I don't because I can't bend down and get them weed. And since now I know that they'll come back every time. I just put them in there. I planted them about four years ago now. And, and they, they come back every year in that pot. Beautiful, just like that. Ooh. What do you see? It? I want to put some around in the yard, but. Some people are talking about, well, you can't grow them in the sun. I see some people, y'all, loaded them. Loaded them. Now, I'm going to try just like they said, ferns won't grow in this. Behind the mind, get bright, wide open sun all day long. My ferns do just fine. Mm. So, with that hospital. Yeah, it's already cut. Just take that thing and slide on there. Mm. Um. I would love to have that hosta everywhere. It's beautiful. I like hosta and that's something Ann got on the walkway that is called La Rope. That comes back. You just have to cut it back or cut, you know, so you won't have a lot of dead limbs on mm -hmm. it. What about, they call it monkey grass. Is that what it's called? Kind of monkey. Mm -hmm. Monkey grass. Mm. I had it all around my tree out there, honey. Every, whoever cut my grass would run over it and I just just 
Yeah, when I get out my prime, I'm not going to do any more y'all planting or work until I get all them pines cut down. Mm -hmm. They'll be out next week. Mm -hmm. They'll come back. They're going to come back. Have you come? Cause that boy told me last time he was here, he was gonna um come back do some kind of weed kill or something. Hmm. Now he come. Uh, my, my maybe he might have said when he come to cut again. Huh? Yeah, probably when he come to cut again. Yeah, they'll be they'll be back they'll be back one day this week to cut. Mm -hmm. But um. I'm so sick of looking at them down on the dandelion. Mm. I, um, I think I'm going to get crepe myrtle. Mm -hmm. Make sure you take your time and make sure the kind you got, I mean, you won't. Because all crepe myrtles are not the same. Well, that, for, that nurse is going to pick, pick, pick. Pick them out for me. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you want them to look like. Cause I see a line of crepe myrtle trees. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. You can get those pretty ones. If you just want them, just like the pretty ones, you just sprout. Don't grow for so big. Mm -hmm. I don't want the trees. I want the. Well, you see what mine are. Mm -hmm. But you know, you have to prune them back, don't you, every year? Yeah, but you still there's about five different. Three reds and yeah. Uh, you but you know, I love them. a Bradford prayer, but I don't. They get huge. Oh, okay, and they they um they die because that Bradford prayer right back in that corner. I planted it when I planted those mm -hmm. that myrtle. Well, the Bradford prayer dogwoods are actually pretty. Yeah, those. That's what I got in the front yeah, yard. Front yard. Forever. Well, that Bradford prayer will die on you because that thing died after about four or five years, and during severe weather. Lightning hit them, you know, split them in half. Mm. Well, so you have to be, uh, you know, yeah, um, map, uh, cases for them is gonna come out. Yeah, that's good because they they know they're gonna grade my, they're gonna tell me what what grows good in my soil. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually thinking about calling True Green. But again, that's after all, mm -hmm. all the trees are down, and once I get my gazebo out there, yeah, that that kind of struggle. So yeah, so I thought I'm not spending all this money on trying to do, mm -mm. get all them trees cut down first, let them level it out, grind them stumps up, and then go from there. That's why I want them to just turn my yard because I'm always gonna be parked on. Dogs on the dug it up and got too many dips in it. And that grass is tight. So once I do all that, and then that's when I'll do the landscaping in the back. I actually like my front. I just want to, I might put a color, some color, but I might just do planters versus trying to plant a bush or something. Yeah, I can. I'm, I can do some shrub, but I can't do no plants that have to be pruned. No, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Something simple like hosta, and put some per perennials around mm -hmm. it. Yeah, hosta, you. There's so many different kinds of hosta yeah. that you have to get. You know, well, Sharice, her, at that house, that second house they had. They had some bad going. That hosta was so pretty. Mm. And it would grow, look. Mm. Wide open. It looked like a man. Yes, sir. But that was some pretty stuff. It had the huge leaves on it. Mm. I've never seen them that big and pretty before. But there are so many different Variation. variations. And I, I, I kind of backed off and listened because I never tried to plant. Like in the front, I always plant it in the shade because it's in hostel. It's a shade plant. Mm -hmm. 
I've seen Hossa many times. I actually enjoy my hanging bashes with the coloring. That's how I'm gonna enjoy. And then I'll put I'll maybe get some more and put on the patio part. But as far as shrubbery, I like mine. Oh, you I like my um shrubbery. Mm -mm. shrubbery. I love my holly bush trees, bushes. Mm -hmm. Love them in the front. So I'm not gonna try to do anything. If I want color, it's gonna be by way of hanging baskets. Yeah. And it doesn't it. bother me that, you know, and then of course the hydrangeas, they'll come back every year. Yeah, but you don't gonna have that color doing this hot month yeah. So, I mean, you know, and and those plants that I bought for the front, they're out there on the front. Oh, ma, they're beautiful. They just like, they they, they're they they're growing out and doing, you know why doing like that. That rain hit them. Always well, make sure you let the rain hit them. Uh-huh. Well, see, that's why when it rained, I mm -hmm. let the rain water get to them. That and then they're water. in the perfect spot. They, they get that indirect sunlight. Mm -hmm. When it rains, it that rain, whoo. Can't beat that rainwater. But now the other day, a John Brown bee got after me while I was pulling my trash receptacle mm. back up to the house. Mm. Uh -huh. now, if my neighbors were looking, honey, they got a show. <laughs> you better be careful. I know. You mess around. I think I don't need to wait till late in the day to get it. As soon as they come pick up the trash, see, that's why I come. They used to come at 6 30 in the morning now they come at like 10 30. Mm. and i normally go out there on my lunch break and go and get it mm. well the bees are out then they out flying around and they were flying around my powerball mm. and i have to switch up the hair care products because anything that has a scent to it mm. That's remember. That's why Dexter used to get so many hand, so many uh, bee stings on his hand. Because when he was, uh, when he had his hair grew out, mm -hmm. and he had that sweet smelling stuff on his head, and he would always be fanning them bees away from him, and they'd bite his hands up. I need to get me another beekeeper. Say every time I think about it, I forget to order one. I need to get me another beekeeper's hat. I was thinking, I said, I know you know where to get one from, because I saw one somewhere. Right the honey walking down my long driveway to the mailbox. I don't know how many feet it is, but it's too many feet. And what I was going to say, you better be careful. You out there carrying on about them bugs. And your neighbors don't know what the deal is. Oh no. You told the, the one the my the, my neighbor that's right there in front of me, I already let her know I have a bug phobia. Uh -huh. You got that thrashing carrying on, you look up to see sure. what's going on. Uh -huh. Now we keep up with each other. Miss right now and, and look up in the ambulance you out there trying to pick uh -huh. you up. Sure. You know what I almost bought the other day is a hula hoop. But I probably wouldn't fit with them one. But I ain't get it because, well, first of all, I'm too big. But even if I wanted to get one for nostalgia's sake, they didn't have the little beads in them. Beads? The beads. You know, when you do it, you know, it make that bead sound. I don't even think the children even still play with Hulu. They had a whole big old bin. Me and Rex, we went to Walmart uh, yesterday. But I'm just saying, I know they still sell them, but the children don't play with them anymore. I wish I could with Hulu. I know I'm too big. I know somebody's saying, Carol, yeah, yeah. you too big for Hulu. I, I know. That used to be the same. I could Hulu up something. We could do it on your arm, one leg, yeah. on the side, on your neck. Very pretty. Do it now, I'll probably fill my whole body out. Shania! I'm gonna ask her if she know how to do the hula hoop. Yeah, I should have got one just to see if they know how to do the hula hoop. I know they go home. Shania! Oh, you know how to hula hoop? 
Oh, you ain't never tried a hula hoop. I did. I was younger. Oh, I got. That's what age we were when we were hula hooping. No, 14, no. 15. Y'all don't hula hoop. No. What about jump rope? No. I, I I jump rope. I jump rope now. I bought me a jump rope. I don't do it every day. I do it twice a twice a, maybe twice a week. <laughs> so I you get better. Yeah, I did a video on it. Don't say nothing. Get you in trouble. <laughs> but seriously, Tania, y'all don't y'all don't jump rope or hula hoop. No, they on their phone. Yes, ma'am. That's all they do. They don't do that stuff. Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. Stay on their phone. Oh my goodness! You mean to tell me y'all don't have no interest in who? No. What if I buy y'all a hula hoop and show y'all how to hula hoop? Honestly, you would be listening. Sure you have no hula. interest in learning how to hula hoop. I already know how to hula hoop, but I'm not. But they don't have no interest in it. No. They don't understand the fun. I do understand the fun. If now here's what would happen: if some of their peers would start that as a thing, they do it. Yeah. But they, they ain't gonna do it just in another cell. You, 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 you ought to start it. You ought to start it. You ought to start the trend. One of my friends can do it. She loves jumping. But other than that, bring back the hula hoop again. Wow. Upstate of the mind. They ain't studying, honey. Next week, girls, upstate of the mind. They see a double duck. Up there in New York. Miami. I thought it was New York. Jersey and all them. They still double dutch. Still you wouldn't like to learn how to double dutch. Nothing like that. Mm. That's what I was saying on the video I did. I think it was a, the latest video. The video before this one. I was talking about how I was uh, all deep into... Um, I, I went back, I went down memory lane and was uh listening to 80s music, Tina mm. Marie and all them. Oh yeah. But anyway, and I was just talking about, you know, back then it was so fun cuz we used to do a bunch of talent shows and stuff. Remember how you would oh, Lord, get man. us in the talent show? We didn't really care if we won or not. It mm -hmm. was just the fact that we liked to get out there and do our mm -hmm. little thing. And I was just saying on the video, I said, I wonder do they still do talent shows like that? Probably not, because they don't even still do it. When I think I did the last one at Hammond Park. I thought, man, if I if I could, if I had time, if we weren't going through all this. Now, see, that would be something I would actually like to do. Community talent. But that's why I was telling the people. I said, you know, I don't even think they do. At, at least not around here. Maybe around other parts of the country. And yeah. in, in the, but like in small town, you know, that was, small that was one of the things that would, you know, kept the kids. Kept the kids, yeah, with. because there ain't nothing for the kids to do around here because we live in country town. Well, we but, have to do it, but you have to have somebody. Somebody that's, that's going to willing to do it. And that's what I was saying. And we did it back then when I was doing it because that's what I love to do. But yeah, you don't like I said. Maybe maybe it's flourishes in other parts of the United States. You know, I had Corona. They said grandma. Oh, they said people probably left. They said grandma. You put. It, I said y'all was good. Mm-hmm. I was listening to that Tony. He finally got him the talent show, honey. Maybe we'll do like we did last week. Let Tony do his own video. That's what we'll do. Well, anyway, y'all, what's going on? I'm just getting. I'm just finishing up my video. Beautiful. I figured, you know, the only time we can get dolled up is on Sunday. Hey, hey, how are you? I'm doing great. Tell Tony say come say bye to the people since he missed out on the paper. Yeah, I'm. Get, I was just getting ready to close it out. I said, "Hey, we, peoples, <laughs> we have to let Tony do his own video by himself." Oh, he down there talking to his Sherry. He down there talking to his Sherry. What happened? You blinded. <laughs> Who? Oh, yeah. Look at my mouth. That looks so pretty. Ooh. Oh yeah, I had my here. grandbaby this weekend. Tony, what's yeah, up? Come yeah, say yeah. hey to the people. I'm getting yeah, ready to we, sign out now. We were 
Listen, you have to come say hey to the oh, queen. Exactly. In the house. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. What's up? What's up, boy? Hey, hey, hey. You recording? I'm recording. Say hey to the people. Hey, everybody. Oh, we go, we're, I'm gonna make him do a video by himself like we did last week. Said so he done jipped me of mine. Of mine. You wish you get back to your wood. Brother, she sister, nigga, come rot you, man. Well, anyway, we got to talk too about this old free family movie I watched. Animal, and animal. we also got to talk about the goings on. Mm -hmm. That's not, y'all, sorry, y'all. Y'all can't be a part of that conversation. We got to talk and get down with the get down. It was called Doom Annihilation. I said, I didn't watch it. Well, I'm going to get into the shape of The name. No, but look, but you know, I needed a sci fi piece. She crawling. No, she ain't and they had the nerve. To. Yeah, I just. Yeah, you, you, know you know how they spook you in with the synopses album. that they play at the beginning? Yeah, the name is The trailer? Yeah, exactly. Whatever. I and I got what I exactly. I was so upset about it. I said, I ain't got time to It's like death. It was dead. It was dead. And guess who the villains were? Zombies. You know I don't do zombies. The thing that she could sit in. So they walk into you know, it. regular play. humans walked into a blob of of, of blobness, and yeah. when they came out, they was zombies. They were supposed to be some other type of super exotic human. She somebody was Z rated. I told them no, it was unrated. <laughs> oh, they look that kind of thing. It's like that one you looking at now. Wow. And then we in well, guess where they were? It was all going down in space. <laughs> <laughs> So that gives that gives you like a like a like a like a like a. It was, but wait a minute. They had the audacity. You know how I feel about the alien movies. That's my Jewish and Matrix. Well, they had the nerve to base the storyline to sort of almost like aliens. I was so, I was so outdone. The why would you do that? To get you to watch it. That's like they did. I mean, on. that was so disrespectful. They did. Tony. They read you in. You read it. Is your voice hoarse? Yeah. Why? Mm -hmm. Come on, last night. What happened last night? No, I got. You can't talk right about no right. camera, Lisa. No, who yeah. just uh this. No, uh, he was out. He was out. He was out. Oh, you, got oh, you went out. You went party. Oh, no, no, we we sure when you hear the same name, boy. You got oh my you God. Back home. Can't, they can't and hear about it. Everybody's trying to be the loudest. Yeah, song. talking loud. And oh and my God. What? What? Playing spades. So I mean, how you play spades? Spades not playing without the noise. Tony, you were. That's how loud it was because he couldn't hear his phone call. Called him twice to make sure he was good. Mm -hmm. He, he, he didn't see So, he Tony, in. wait a minute. I, I don't think I've ever Tony heard your Tony voice hoarse. Y'all no. must have been <laughs> talking bleat and swallowing spit. No, we were yelling. Ooh. Are y'all a serious fake player? Yes. Oh, Is it really that serious? serious? Yes. Yeah. Card player. Now your dad Ooh, honey, I don't know. I can handle that kind of stuff. I like serious card players. The, the kind of get mad. They could be playing for a dime. But whoever loses, girl, please, they be ready to fight. I never liked that. Ooh, they Lisa, got, I can't believe you uh -huh. didn't go to give me a re full report. I had a baby. I had my grandbaby the week. Oh. We had a whole she house. Had, yeah, she had dough. <laughs> Tony. Yeah, her baby. Wow, you, you must have been talking cash and money. And you don't money. realize... Yes, it, uh, and it, it takes fun. a lot. Cause I mean, uh, yeah, she can't do nothing yeah. there herself. Tony, uh, was you talking cash money? money. Was I? Did you make yeah, the people want to fight you? Because you were talking to them. My God, it, it, it's like, it's like, it's like, wow, Tony, you must have been getting down said, with the get down, boy. Said, you are horse. Yeah, we had I want another one, Gigi. I know it's so good when you can have a good time like that. And then because my buddy back in the hospital, he's really child. So mm. he used to All right, y'all, we about to do it. Boy. It's time for so us to have our family time. We got some mm. talking to the day. Ah, anyway, I, I want to thank y'all for stopping. <laughs> I want to thank y'all for stopping on the yeah, flavor train because too. what? What? Flavor is where it's at. Bye, y'all. <laughs>